Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Okay, so uh, you may have seen that little quick snippet video of my very first laser project that I did on my new Mira 7 laser from Aeon Laser USA. Uh, I'm super stoked. He's so cute. I love Winnie the Pooh. Anyone who knows me, I don't know if I mentioned this over the years, but I am obsessed. And I mean literally obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. Um, since a child, I have all kinds of stuff uh, stored away in my home from snow globes to mugs from the Disney store. Do you remember the Disney store? Does the Disney store even exist anymore? Like I know it went belly up in Canada, but there were still some stores in the US. But the stuff I have, I have plush toys, animals, stuffies with the tags still on them. Anyways, yes, I'm obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. Um, but yeah, so that was my first project. Um, super cute. Um, you know, I could make those uh, if anyone is interested in commissioning a piece like that. You can make it whatever size you want. Mine was just, I don't know, about yay big. I think it was about five inches, but you can make them as big as 12 inches. I have other Disney characters that I could make. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff. And so uh, I did make something else. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that uh, on Friday. So here's what I'm thinking. You will still get my regular acrylic pouring videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. But what I was thinking is having laser Fridays. Um, so I was thinking of just uploading some laser videos of some stuff that I'm working on, projects that I'm creating, um, and it would be posted on Fridays. So what do you think of that? Would you like to see Laser Friday videos? Um, and then I could just, it would be quick videos, probably all music or maybe some voiceover. I don't know, we'll see um, short videos, maybe about 10 minutes long or so, but you get to see what I'm making and then, you know, maybe you'll like what you see and you'll wanna commission a piece. There's some dog pieces that I'm gonna be working on. I'm currently now working on a horse piece. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, so this Friday, I will post a video of something I just finished the other day. Um, it was a piece that I did for the first time and it turned out so good. However, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you will, have, you will see it before Friday because I am gonna post it um, in the next day or maybe even today, I don't know. Um, so if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you will have seen it, but I will post on Fridays, laser Fridays. That is what my plan is. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see uh, me working with the laser and the projects that I'm creating. Okay, uh, really quickly, dried result. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. I love it. And again, I'm not a green fan, but I'm really starting to love green, just like I wasn't a pink fan and now I'm like loving pink. Blue still is and always will be my favorite color, but come on, look how amazing that turned out. And so of course it still needs a top coat of crystal resin. And of course, don't forget, speaking of crystal resin, there is that major casting resin sale happening. If you saw my last video, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, go to my last video. Um, crystal resin is doing a major sale on their new casting resin and you can save an extra 15% off the sale price. So how cool is this? So this is on a 15 and a half, almost 16 inch round. It is available for purchase. If anyone is interested in this piece, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com and you can purchase this beauty. Um, all right, and lastly, super quick, um, in like May, I'm going to be heading off to Asheville, North Carolina. Um, for those of you who want to join and learn classes and learn how to do, I'm doing all kinds of, there's a resin class, top coating class, you know, blowout classes, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, May 23rd to the 25th, Asheville, North Carolina. If you want information, www.fluidartexperience.com. Okay, again, information in the description below. I'll be in Fort Myers, Florida, July 13th and 14th, and I will be teaching classes with Kathleen from Cause Creations. Uh, so if you want information on that, it is, um, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends4 
Florida at gmail.com. And then of course, I'm teaching here in my home studio right here with me, you know, um, five spots per class. And that is happening April 27th and 28th. You know, come and see me in London, Ontario, if you're in the surrounding area, or maybe take a couple of hours drive. It's not winter anymore. It's beautiful out. You know, come and see me in London, Ontario. This is the only time I'm going to be doing classes in my home studio. Just this one time this year. So if you want to come and not have to fly out to the U.S. and take classes in the U.S., you can come and see me here in Canada, in Ontario, in London. So, uh, like I said, April 27th and 28th. If you want information on those classes, email me, canelasaraco at gmail.com. Okay, that's it. Uh, today I'm trying something different. Let's see what happens. All right, everybody. So today's going to be something different, something I've never done before. I am going to do a blowout. I will get back to my blooms again. Don't you worry. But I wanted to try something. I wanted to try a blowout, but also combine a little bit of the bloom into this. What do I mean by that? So I've got my regular colors here for my blowout. But what I'm going to do is once I put all my colors down, I am going to add cell activator from the bloom technique on top and then I'm going to blow it out. I'm very curious to see what the cell activator that has Australian Floetrol in it. I'm curious to see what it's going to do to my blowout paints and what kind of reaction it's going to get and then what the outcome is going to be. It might be good. It could end up looking like a cloud pour, um, you know, something. I don't know, but it's something I've been thinking about for a long time and I just keep forgetting to do it. And just, you know, life gets busy and I forget to do it all together. Um, but that's what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna call this like freestyling. I'm gonna freestyle this. I, I don't have any thoughts or plans or compositions in mind. I'm literally just going to go for it. I'm going to throw a bunch of colors on the canvas and then see what happens and then wait to see what it's going to look like when it dries because uh, in the drying process, maybe cells might get wonky, cells might get warped. I don't know. You don't know, but we're going to find out together. So let's get started with the base paint. Uh, base paint is titanium white by Amsterdam. All right, and then I went like super dark. So I went very, very dark blues on a white base with white cell activator. I, I contemplated doing um, the Payne's Gray cell activator, but I kind of want to throw the white in there just to kind of break all these super, super dark blues up. So we've got uh, Prussian Blue Thalo by Amsterdam. Then I've got Thalo Turquoise by TriArt. Then I've got Pearl Blue by Amsterdam. Then I have Indanthrene Blue by Holbein. Been a long time since I used that color. Then I've got Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And this Artist Loft, this is probably the only color I ever, ever use in the Artist Loft brand. And then Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. Again, another color I haven't used in a really long time. So those are my colors. Okay, and again, I'm using white cell activator, which is Australian Floetrol and Titanium White by Amsterdam. So <laughs> this is, this is going to be interesting. I'm so curious to see, um, oh goodness, goodness gracious, oh gosh, that hurt, that really hurt. <laughs> It's been a long time since I opened this bottle, weeks, because I've been doing blooms for so long. All right, that being said, let me flood my canvas and I shall be right back. So let's, uh, I'm going to do my nice wave pattern. I'm not going to do wispies. I like my U-shaped pattern. 
So let's go with that. And uh, this, I, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be so interesting. Maybe I should have went up a little bit like that. Anywho, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm very curious to see how this is going to pan out. Oh gosh, this color is beautiful. The little turquoise tri art. All right, and then of course pearl blue, which looks white but is going to have a beautiful blue shimmer when it dries. All right, I loaded that one on. All right, I cannot wait to show you guys the projects that are upcoming with my new laser machine. Um, like I said, I'm working on a horse right now, a horse project. Um, there's so many, I'm working on a dog project, like a sign. I like, I mean, I can do any dog you want. Like, I mean, any dog breed, you know, I'm with your dog's name on it and stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to do one for Juno or Echo or both. And then that way you guys will get to see kind of like what I mean, but oh boy, oh boy. And yes, I, I'll start wood orders soon. So um, keep your eyes open on your email for that. All right, I'm gonna pop the bubbles and then I'm gonna put the cell activator down. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous. So I don't know how much I should put of this. I don't know, a lot, a little. I'm gonna go for a lot-ish. Um, and then just see what happens. But, and should I go straight or zigzag it? I don't really know what I should do. Let's just do straight. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, so it's sinking super quick. So I don't know this, I don't know, I don't know. Like it sunk obviously because it's really a lot thicker, right? I'm gonna zigzag it, I too. <sighs> I may be screwing this up really bad. I don't know, but we'll see. Let's blow it out. Okay, so I did the first blowout and I feel like I'm not seeing much of anything. Um, so I, I'm going for it. I'm so going for it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm going for it. All right, let's blow it out. And I still may not see anything, I don't know. regular blowout to me I'm really disappointed okay wait hold on let me rephrase that I'm super happy with the outcome the colors are stunning the blowout is stunning what I'm not happy about is that this sucker didn't do anything um, I don't think it did anything different I really don't um, I really thought I was gonna get some sort of crazy wacky cells um, and I didn't. It's just regular cells like I always get with my blowouts. So that experiment did not work the way I thought it would. Um, I really, really, really thought that I was going to get like some crazy cells. 
um, happening. But yeah, no, let me, um, let me fix something here. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really disappointed. Not in the painting, in this. I'm really disappointed in the cell activator. Clearly it doesn't work with, you know, what, how I thought it would for blowout. But the actual painting itself is gorgeous and I really do love the colors. Uh, I don't like this part here. But there we go. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, aside from this not working the way I was kind of hoping for it to, um, I love this piece. I love the colors. I'm loving the dark, deep blues with the turquoise. It's great. But uh, yeah, a little disappointed on the Aussie Floetrol on this one. I guess it, it should just stick to blooms. All right, so bummer, but still have a beautiful piece. Let me uh, touch up my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before we get to the close-up, don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape the drips. Okay, do all four sides. Come back 10 minutes later. Do it a second time and you should be good. All right, so again, I don't know. Maybe as time goes on, every hour that passes, this may change a little bit. I'm not sure, but for now, it looks like a regular blowout to me. Maybe a little bit different. Like, I mean, I didn't put my signature 24 karat gold in here or silver, um, you know, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this dries, but I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the blowout. I love the composition. I'm just, I really thought something more magical would happen. But uh, yeah, let's check it out with the flash on. All right, so the flash is on. Now there's gonna be shimmer because, you know, there's the, what do I have in there? Pebeo? I don't even remember. No, I don't have any Pebeo in here. The, um, I've got the pearl blue and I've got the metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. So there's a little shimmer in here. See, I like those cells. Those cells, oops, those cells are super pretty. But yeah, not a crazy, yeah, there's some shimmer, but you know, had I have added some 24K, but I kind of like the blue. Sometimes 24K isn't, you know, good for a painting, but I still love the colors. Well, so there you have it, everybody. I combined two, well, sort of two techniques and it did not work out the way I wanted. Wah, wah, wah. But that's okay, because I still ended up with a beautiful blue blowout. Say that five times fast. Beautiful blue blowout. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, anywho, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I'm trying to think what else I can do to kind of change up these blowouts. Like, I have pearl... Um, what's it called? I can't think of what the word is right now. Maybe I'll think about it. Um, but just trying to, the, the, I'm trying to think of the stuff that they use to do the uh, cloud pours. Satin enamel. That's it. Satin enamel. I wonder if I threw some satin enamel in, <clears throat> you know, one of my colors. See what happens. Maybe I'll try that. You want to see that? I feel like experimenting. I'm in, in an experimental mode. So anywho, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Uh, this piece is available for purchase. Uh, it's a 14 by 18 inch canvas. If you're interested, email me. You know the email. That's it for me for now. I feel kind of defeated because I I was I had this thing in my mind and I thought, oh, this is going to be cool. And it's just a regular blowout. <laughs> so uh, back to the drawing board. That's it. Until next time, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.